Yes, he's ready for the kickback. Pretty straight. The only question is, did he hit it? Well, he's going to ask a question about the reflection. How's he going to review? He's dead. If he hasn't nicked it, and he will know it if he's nicked it. He does not need to ask his partner if he needs to go out. Inbounce. Sri Lanka strike first. Bought on the crease. Gives in the stare and the dreaded finger. Charles is gone. Charles gone for one. The West Indies are one for two. boost his confidence. Was looking to go through cover point but gets the boundary anyway. Then the over. That's a welcome boundary. It is, and, and it's why I think Angelo Matthews chose to feed first. Obviously, the difficulties of Duckworth Lewis and the umpires will have a chance as the rain come, becomes increasingly heavier. 
think we're informed that if we do have an interruption, we'll start losing over straight away as the players leave the field. They're going to have a 26 over a side affair. any time. Six down the ground. That's well hit into the gap. Shot again. Atlanta Mendes deceiving off the pitch. 
chasing him there for some extra space off the pitch, but holding him back a bit. And Carlos Brathwaite has to go. Gone for nine. West Indies 137. Strike, good use of the feet, and that will uh, go through for four. He looks to be in very fine form. And this has been struck firmly over and off. Straight away, has it gone all the way? It has. He starts off with a six, tremendous shot, and that's the 150. Rubbed in, goes over cover. Will it go all the way? Does. One bounce for four. Hit and a miss. Polo is run out at the other end. The West Indies finish up 159 for seven. Still a very fine score for the West Indies. Jason Holder, the last man run out. But what a brilliant innings by the captain, 36 at a strike rate of nearly 300 runs, 100 balls. Tremendous effort by the West Indian captain and West Indies 159 for eight. And this is that run out. Holder trying to steal one to the keeper. Some nifty work there. Gets rid of him. Which no Matthews will be concerned about this score it looks a very competitive one in this situation in that key position. That's good feeling to hit from that angle. Pereira is making his way already back to the pavilion and this is why. By some distance, I think from that one point, the West Indies needed that. They need a few more. Bowling hasn't exactly been spot on. So it will be the end of Pereira. Jonathan Carter doesn't need that. He's played his part despite his disappointment. One for 14, it's 46 for one. Third man square. And 
he went fine. Four. On 49. And now on 50. In fact, he's 53. He's 46 to one day 50. And he's faster seven half century in one day cricket. Caught behind, Tirimana driving rather loosely. First one day international for Brethwick. And Lairu Tirimana must be disappointed. Gone for 17, driving rather loosely at a delivery that went across the left hander. And a good catch by the keeper. Yeah, the slip was waiting as well. It's been something we've been seeing with Tirimana. Whether it be the red ball, here with the white ball. Just opens the doors a wee bit for the Windies. You never know. Made an ODI wicket for Carlos Bradway. Just that perfect line, angling across the left-hander. 17 to Tirimana. 89 for two. Pass Jerome Taylor. There was a cry from Bradley to Bobby Taylor as he's known to get a hang on it. And too quick. That's an edge. He's not going to wait for that one. And Bradley picks up his second wicket. Good bowling, good length, good line again. Can't see it off Nino. Absolutely agree. It's a rare delivery in this area for Dilshan. And if you hit the right leg, you'll get bounce on the surface. <laughs> West Indies finally threw their best seamer of the night, Carlos Bradwitt, getting results by bowling in the right area. He's played well, Dilshan. Got this team off to a flyer. 59 to him, 104 for three. Nice shot, competently played. Perhaps he's very compact on his first boundary in international cricket. Down to third man, and taken. Jonathan Carter takes the catch. That was the wicket they wanted to get you. I wondered why Angelo Matthews would look to play a shot like that with the equation so much in his favor. The plate he did, down the wicket, not in control of it, just sliced it down to Carter, and a low catch taken in the end. Angelo Matthews, a wicket for Jerome Taylor. Angelo Matthews goes for 13. And now 124. Carlos Broadway picks up the catch. Milinda Sirivardana. Is the batsman dismissed? You could understand what he was trying to do. He was trying to chip. He was trying to drop kick over Carlos Brathwaite. It's a big unit. You need a little bit more than that to get it past him. Maybe they are going to make it interesting after all. Carlos Brathwaite holding on firmly to the greasy ball. Sidwardana departs for seven. It's 132 for five.
26 kg now. The debutant goes, Shayan Jayasurya. Without troubling the scorers. Sri Lanka 132 for six. He can't believe what's just happened. He's out for 12. 133 for 7. Just relaxing for a moment, I thought. Boundary down the ground. Punching on the up. What a blow. Made an ODI wicket for Carter. West Indies still in it. Sinanayaka. Leaned up for seven, it's 152. Great. End up 164 for nine by virtue of Dilshan's 59 21 from Mendes. West Indies a good effort. Three wickets for Narayan, two for Carter, and two for Brathwaite. Sri Lanka won by one wicket on the Duckworth Lewis method. <laughs> 